10 years ago, I decided to start my own business in video games. And since then, I won a BAFTA award. I got nominated by Forbes as top 50 women in tech. And I created multiple products, launched multiple games, and also failed multiple times. There are over 2 billion people playing games on a daily basis in the world out of 7 billion of us. So there's a lot of gamers around there. At Bossa, we, we believe that you can only create revolutionary games as opposed to evolutionary games if you explore as many ideas as possible in the very early stages. I think we leaders and game creators and entrepreneurs have the ethical responsibility. We use the tech in a way that it's, it's actually enhancing humans and not making them kind of more detached from each other. And I think our responsibility goes beyond that. It's also about creating tech that is not biased. We created something that actually millions of people would be able to be helped on a day-to-day -day basis. Current mental health issues we're seeing within this bracket, millennials and Gen Z, is uh, sometimes social inability to deal with the, the, the offline and the online world. Think through the, the way that you're creating your game or, or your product. How, how is this connecting to something that people need in addition to, of course, the entertainment side of it? My question as a games creator, as a technologist, as an entrepreneur, is very simple. How far is too far? I think we need to think deeply about certain things that we're not thinking right now when we're building those algorithms and feeding so much data into that and allowing so many people to use them. What are we leaders doing in our top organizations to, uh, to ensure that the brainiest people that we hire now, they are actually deeply grasping the things that they're making?